Today in the uh, printing industry is a very rough time. Uh, there are changes in productivity, changes in the way things are produced that are occurring so fast that it's very difficult to keep up. Um, in this, today though, what we face is the worst enemy we have is the economy. Printing businesses throughout this country have been going out of business left and right because they own millions upon millions of dollars of equipment and they can't keep the presses running. So it always, as it has been, is in a recession, everybody will cut back on their advertising. It's the first thing they do, not necessarily the right thing. So people today are going for shorter runs and uh, you know it, it kills some of the big printers. A lot of them are consolidating. There's paper companies that are going out and it's just been a very tough time. Uh, what I want to do is I'm just going to give a cursory overview of uh, the digital printing versus the offset printing. And then what I'd like to cover will be um, the preparation of your files for printing because that can be the most disturbing part and most difficult part. Um, digital printing today is common. It's basically like your desktop printer. Um, the copies that are run for short run are extremely competitive and they can be offset printing. Now people say, well, what's the difference in quality? Well, I've always said that um, quality is in the eyes of the beholder because you can print something from a digital print, you can print something on different types of paper and have offset printing and while a number of people, myself, would be able to probably tell you the difference and the difference in quality, but what really matters is the end user when they get it, is this acceptable? This, for example, was done on a digital printer. And uh, it was composed through a number of different um, uh, programs, but uh, again, the digital printer, which interprets everything in um, numeric code. So the digital printing right now is really is overtaking a lot of the industry. Um, they're good for short runs to medium runs, but um, on a whole for a long run, the sheet fed offset printing is still capable. Uh, in the digital printing, you have just a single unit which applies the four colors, which are CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Those four colors represent just about everything um, all the colors that are, there are. Uh, a lot of people today will come in and they say, hey, I'd like to have my job printed in blue. And I pull this out <laughs> and I say, what blue? And it can cause a problem. Also, uh, what I'm going to pass around is this is a conversion guide to just give you an idea. It's CMYK versus what we call PMS colors, which are solid one color pieces that, uh, that are mixed to make that exact color. But in the color printing business, you use CMYK and therefore those um, colors will change a little bit. So I'm just going to hand it out and pass it back, let everybody take a look. And you'll see why it's very difficult to um, match colors. Now the offset printing business, which has been really dominant um, for the past 30 years is now being challenged by digital printing. Uh, the techniques have changed so much that, um, you know, it's hard to say. My family, and I represent all printing, it started in the business in 1936 in Chicago. Uh, I ran the plant for a number of years and then I moved out here where I'm still operating. And uh, offset printing is a different type of animal. Um, if you go to a printing press, you will have what we call towers. And there can be four, six, eight, twelve, whatever, and each unit runs a separate color. So the application is that the image from a plate, which is etched and uh, it's water-based and a fountain solution, so the image on the plate picks up ink, which is put on there by a roller, and then transferred to a blanket, transferred to the sheet, and each time it goes through to put on yellow, magenta, whatever, and come out as a finished piece. Uh, the, the, the problem with that is there's a great deal of waste in offset printing, which is really being cut down now. And we call it make-ready time. From the time you put in the sheet 
you bring it up to color, whereas on a digital press, you already have a file and it prints out exactly what it is. Um, problem is on a digital job, usually if there is a problem with color, you have to go back and change the actual uh, TIFF, PDF, whatever it is to, to uh, change the color. A lot of people get confused because there are, there's another color that's most commonly used and that's called RGB. Uh, this is CMYK and printed on material. This is a, um, what is it? Um, well, it, it takes away the color. In other words, what, what we see here on the color is that we put this image down because of there are so many gamuts of color, we actually see what is the reflection from this. Uh, in, in an RGB, which is like our computer screens, televisions, and whatnot, we will see the light from behind it. And in that, the RGB works just fine. But if you don't change your program or whatever documents you're working in to CMYK, you can have a number of problems because the colors will shift. Uh, one of the most scary things I ever have is when somebody calls and they say, number one, design my own program, my brochure. Number two, I got all the pictures from the <coughs> internet. And number three, I have it on a floppy disk. So you know right away that there's going to be a problem. Um, the other tremendous issue for printing in CMYK and all your files need to be transferred into that color is that um, it is, um, again, extremely accurate and um, you can produce almost anything, gamut of colors, millions of colors. Uh, when the file is set up, usually what I would like to have people do is to have a, you know, an actual graphic program. Now, there are a number of programs out today and pretty much everybody's become a designer where you can lay it out, put it together, and send it to you. Uh, what I suggest to everybody always is before you start a project and you know you're going to have it printed, try to contact your printer and find out what their file specs are. You know, where they are, where, what belongs where, what are the colors. Uh, you know, because if you print a black like in text and type, that's black. But if you're going to print black in an image, it's called a rich black, which is made up of the four primary colors to give it a much more dense black look than a washed out standard black. So um, if you go to the back page, I just tossed down a little layout. Now, um, this is something that has to be adhered to because before when printing were done, you have what is a bleed, which is the area that is around your brochure or whatever that is trimmed off. It used to be that you'd set up a, you know, a .250 bleed on each side. Now, what that allowed you to do is if the design was off a little bit, you could cheat on the cutting and make it look good. Today, the bleed on all four sides is .125. There is no... Um, option because there's such a small trim area. So what that means is that your file has to be exact and be correct because it's all done computer cutting now. You have a standard layout and um, on a cutter, you know, it usually cuts a four to five inch stack of paper. And it's set up automatically and it goes through and chops. If your files are off or if your folds are off, your job's off and there's really not much you can do to get around that. 